नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड इन 2020 फ्रॉम नंबर सिस्टम चैप्टर बेस्ड ऑन काउंटिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर एवरी ईयर फोर टू फाइव क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ड बेस्ड ऑन नंबर सिस्टम लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी जीरो आर देर एट द एंड ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोडक्ट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस प्रोडक्ट देर इज अ पैटर्न वन फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी लाइक दिस अप टू सिक्सटी ओके फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव द डिफरेंस इज फाइव ओके इफ यू लीव दिस वन इट डजेंट मेक एनी डिफरेंस सो द डिफरेंस इज फाइव माई फ्रेंड्स देर इज अ पैटर्न नाउ हाउ मेनी जीरो जीरो मीन्स टेन माई फ्रेंड्स ओके इन टेन वी हैव ए जीरो सो नंबर ऑफ जीरो मीन्स नंबर ऑफ टेन दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी टेन आर देर इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी कैन फाइंड आउट सर्टेन टेन डायरेक्टली हियर certain tens are hidden we'll see the direct tens here first okay see we have 10 20 is 2 into 10 here 10 is there 30 3 into 10 44 into 10 50 5 into 10 60 6 into 10 so how many tens are there okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay there are six tens as of now which are directly visible okay which are very clear so i'm rewriting this product as 1 into 5 into okay 15 into 2 into 25 into 3 into 35 into 4 into 45 into 5 into 55 into 6 into 10 power 6 my friends okay here we took the tens out of them and wrote the tens as like this okay 10 power 6 so these are tens which are directly visible okay zeros means tens tens means 2 into 5 my friends any number can be written as a product of prime numbers okay 10 can be written product of prime numbers okay 2 into 5 here 2 is a even prime number this is only the prime number which is even rest all prime numbers are odd this is very important UPSC may frame a question based on this as statements. So kindly remember this, and uh, any number can be written as a product of prime numbers. You can express any number as a product of prime numbers. Okay, two is prime number, five is prime number. So some tens are directly visible. We have separated them. Some tens are hidden. We have to find out. So to have ten, we need to have a pair of two and five, my friends. If we have a pair of two and five, we can form ten, my friends. That means there will be a zero, one zero at the end. So let's look for two and five in this product now. Clear? I'm looking for two. So okay, here we don't have two, no two, no two. Here we have two. Okay, one two, no two, no two. Here we have two twos. Four I am writing as two square. Okay, six I am writing as two into three, my friends. Okay, so there are. Four twos. Now let's look for fives here. See, maximum tens you can have in this is four, my friends, because we have only four twos. You cannot have more than four tens here, more than four zeros, because here two is limited. Let's say you have two power four and five power six. How many zeros? How many tens you can have? Only four. If you have two power four, five square here. Five is limited, so you can have only two tens here. So either two or five, which is less in number, that will decide the number of tens, number of zeros. It seems in this problem we have many fives. Okay, one five here, here another five here, two fives here, one more five here, one more five. Okay, here five here. One more five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, five power eight. However, only five power four is needed to form tens, my friends. Okay, because you have two power four. So that means you have four tens here. Whenever a problem of this type is asked, you look for direct tens, direct zeros first. Separate them. We have six such tens, my friends. We have separated now. From the remaining product, just see if you can form how many number of tens. Ten means 
2 into 5 my friends okay now to simplify the problem further by just looking at this problem you will see there are less number of 2's than 5's my friends okay see 2 here 2 square here 2 into 3 less number of 2's however there are more number of 5's here so this is another way of simplifying solving this problem quickly if you have less number of 2's that will determine number of 10's you are going to have if you have less number of 5's that will determine number of tens you can have so we have four twos okay so we cannot have more than four tens here four zeros here now you look for number of fives if you are kind of an advanced student who practiced more just by looking at this problem you can directly say there are more number of fives than number of twos you can definitely have more than four fives here so you know you no need to count in that case you can directly say we have we can have four tens here that's for sure otherwise you manually count okay 5 power 8 so 2 power 4 into 5 power 4 10 power 4 okay so 6 plus of 4 10 so 10 zeros at the end trailing zeros trailing means zeros at the end okay trailing zeros the question can be like this like this also number of trailing zeros in this product you see problem is given like the 64 into 125 you know there are more number of 2's in this problem than number of 5's okay 2 power 6 uh, 5 cube so whichever is less in number that will decide that will determine the number of zeros number of times okay so we have 3 5's here so that will determine because you know you cannot have more than 3 tens in this problem because five are limited so yes you can have three tens in this problem let's say the problem is like this 4 into 625 2 square okay here 5 power 4 25 25 is a 25 is 5 square okay 25 25 is a 625 so 5 power 4 when the bases are same you add the powers okay so 5 power 4 here less number of twos than number of 5 so this will determine the number of tens we have okay you can write 2 square into 5 square into 5 square this is 10 whole square okay 5 square here you know 2 cube into 5 cube into 2 cube so this is 10 cube into 2 cube you know when you have 2 cube into 5 cube you can write it as 2 into 5 whole cube 2 into 5 is 10 10 whole cube i hope this is clear you know 2 square into 5 square you can write as 2 into 5 whole square okay 10 whole square these are basics though i have deal them separately in simplification lecture but again okay whenever we come across that we just make sure that you know you don't forget okay so very important question my friends you can expect similar questions in other upsc exams and state PSC exams as well okay so just look for tens direct tens and then number of twos and fives that's it thank you